And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 meteorologist Matt Hoffman. A pretty sunset on our Green Bay Tower Cam. 30 degrees right now, an east southeast wind at 8 miles per hour. Quite a bit of clouds out there today, keeping those temperatures down, but still much milder than what we saw yesterday. We're at 30 degrees currently in Appleton, a southeast wind at 14 miles per hour, but gusting up to 23 miles per hour. So temperatures right now sitting in the upper 20s to lower 30s, 32 in Kewanee. It's 31 in Mantuac, 29 currently in Oshkosh, 20 in Sturgeon Bay, 31 in Shano, and 30 degrees free folks in Clintonville. Here's the thing with temperatures tonight. We're not going to see temperatures drop all that much, maybe a few degrees at most, thanks to the clouds, but also these blustery winds that are out of the southeast, anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour, and these winds will remain fairly breezy out of the southeast. They might diminish a little bit this evening, but then will pick back up later in the night, so temperatures will likely drop a few degrees and then rise later in the nighttime hours. But there is a bit of a wind chill out there. Wind chills in the upper teens to lower 20s, so it is a little bit chilly if you're going to be heading out and about this evening. Skies mostly cloudy, some breaks in the clouds, but overall expecting skies to stay generally mostly cloudy for tonight. And we'll be dealing with the clouds for quite a little while at least uh, through tomorrow and even Monday. Skies will be fairly gray. We have a warm front that's lifting towards the area. This will eventually stall out as a stationary front tomorrow and that'll touch off a lot of the cloud cover for tomorrow. Also could see some areas of fog develop and maybe some areas of drizzle as well. South of this front, look how warm it is. 60s, it was 70 early, earlier in Pierre, South Dakota. We're not gonna get that warm, but we do have some 50s in the forecast by Monday. Tomorrow, a milder day. Highs will be in the 40s. And then we also, again, we'll be contending with the clouds, some areas of fog as well and then some drizzle possible thanks to that stationary boundary that will be fairly close by. Overall, the warming trend continues. 40s tomorrow, 50s on Monday, but then temperatures do start to trend cooler. Not going to be as cold as what we dealt with yesterday, and then temperatures do look to go back up by the end of the coming work week. Here's that temperature trend up to 57 on Monday, cooling down closer to average for Wednesday, but then temperatures shoot back up to 50 by Friday. Here's a look at Skycast as we go through the overnight. Generally mostly cloudy skies will stay mostly cloudy for tomorrow uh, and generally cloudy and also we will be contending with maybe a little bit of drizzle, some areas of fog. As that snow melts it's going to put more moisture into the atmosphere so that's going to mean for cloudy skies and also areas of drizzle, some shower activity as we head on into Monday. Temperatures Warming later tonight, tomorrow we'll get into the 40s, some 30s along the lake shore, and then as we head into Monday, even warmer with readings getting into the 50s, maybe some spots getting close to 60 degrees. Tonight down to 28, mostly cloudy and breezy. Tomorrow generally cloudy, foggy, some areas of drizzle as well. High right around 44 degrees. Then your extended forecast looking like this. Monday looks like fairly light rain and drizzle through the day. Maybe some steadier rain and a thunderstorm on into Monday night. And then beyond that, temperatures cooling down into the middle of the week. Thunderstorms. That's crazy to be talking about thunderstorms right now. Could see a few. Mostly it's just going to be just plain rain. Okay. Well, yeah. I like the warm temperatures. Yeah, it'll be nice. 50s. It'll feel great. Awesome. Thanks, yeah. Matt. Well, so